Hello and welcome to my channel Making Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how I created this folio using two kits from Sweet Pea Curiosities. And uh, I was just going to do a flip through of this one on my Instagram and possibly here on YouTube. But then I decided you may want to know how to create this one the way I created it. I made it a little different than the way the folio is supposed to be created. I decided to make this one an accordion folio. And so I combined two kits, the Vintage Folio Kit as well as in the forest journal kit and i'll explain all that and show you how i combined them to make it work now the vintage folio kit has everything with it that you could just make a folio but i wanted to change it up a little bit so that's why i'm combining the two kits and so i'll give you a quick flip through of my folio and so we have little pockets here and this one is a forest one kind of a grungier one but i like how it turned out i like how all the different pockets so i've got a slanted pocket here and this one and i'm going to show you how i did this and so you have all of these pages to put ephemera in and i've added some of the ephemera from her kits but you could add your other ephemera i thought about using this one like to put in my die cuts of mushrooms and things or my cutouts of you know trees and flowers and things so that you could use it for that as well so let's start get started on it for the first part here this is the folio kit and i only printed out the pieces i'm going to use so there's more in this folio kit so what i printed out is the actual folio front and back of it or the front and inside maybe that's what i should say I also, these pockets were already on here. I won't be using them, but this is the back side of part of the flip out that I didn't use in this one. So I did leave one of the pieces off on this one. Today, I think I'm gonna add it, we'll see. And so here's more of the kit, and this is more of the flip out that I left off of the one before. And more of it. So then I also did print some of the ephemera from this one, some of the journaling cards and things. But I did not print the pockets because I want to go with in the forest kit and use the pockets from that kit. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So in the forest kit, it has these pockets that work perfect for this, as well as these. These are just perfect in this folio. You do have to trim them down a little bit, so I'm going to show you that. That's why I decided to show you so you can see where I got all the pieces from. And then to decorate the cover, I used one of the sheets, and we'll do that today. We'll use a different one today because I didn't reprint this sheet, I've just got what was left over from what I printed before. So we'll decide which one's gonna be our cover. And then there is also some tags and um, let's see, some journaling cards and things in this kit that I will be cutting out to use as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause the video, cut everything out, and then I'll be right back with you to explain how to put this together and how all this is gonna work. So I've gone ahead and cut out all the folio pieces. And so I'm just gonna sort them. This is the inside pieces. And I'm just going to make a stack of inside pieces and outside pieces so that I can get started on it. So we're going to start out with the outside pieces first because they're the ones with the little flaps on the side. And I do want to score those because I am using pretty heavyweight cardstock that I printed these on. I can't remember the weight of the cardstock, but it was fairly heavy, so I think it would be best to score it in this, instead of trying to... Um, bend it if you are using just regular paper you wouldn't need to score so I'm just going to score along the edge of these flaps just so to make it easier to bend them and so I have gone ahead and inked all of these around the edges I did not ink the pockets because the pockets gonna have to be trimmed down oops I've got this crooked let me get this lined up but the pockets are gonna have to be trimmed down just a little bit. So I didn't ink around those, but I've tried to ink around all the folio pieces. And this is just the only problem, is getting this lined up on here. It may have been best to fold it over by hand, but I felt like if I fold it by hand, it doesn't bend as easily with this cardstock. And so here's our little bitty flaps that I didn't add last time that I think I'm adding this time. So I'm just gonna score them. And if you want to see how to put this one together with the way that she designed it, I think she may have a video on her channel, but I can't remember. I, it, I don't think it's this exact folio. It may be a different folio. I can't remember. But they're all the same, that, like this in her shop. Um, she does have some different ones, but she has a couple like this as well. So I am just going to fold in on these. 
but I think I'm gonna make this one an accordion one, but I'm gonna do it a little different since I'm gonna be adding that small flap. I'm gonna do a little bit different today than the one I showed you. I can never make the same thing twice, I don't think. I always have to mix it up a little bit. That's what makes crafting fun, I think. So got all those scored. So now let's line them up how we want to put them together. So we have this one with the flap. So we're just going to take one of them that doesn't have a flap and just attach it there. And then we have That said that wrong. So we're gonna take the one with the flap and we're gonna take the other one that has a flap and we're going to line it up right onto this flap. And then, make sure I got it right side up because some things are upside down and stuff. So I don't think it really, I think what matters is where the flaps are. Then we're gonna take the one that doesn't have any flaps and attach it here and then slide over. And then the last one is the one with the flap going towards the left. We're just gonna attach it here. So, and then these two will go, um, this one, let's see, right side up, it's gonna go here, and then this one will go on this end. And I know it's coming off the camera, but we'll show you when I start gluing it. So let's just start with this flap first. And I'm just gonna add glue to the little flap. And I did cut these out with my paper trimmer, but you could cut, the one I made before, I just cut out with scissors, but you could make these, you know, you can cut them out with your paper trimmer or with your scissors. Now, some parts of it, you'll still have to come back if you use your paper trimmer and use your scissors. So now when we want to attach this, I want to leave just a little gap so that it can fold up. And then I'm just going to attach it there, lining up the bottom edges. And so you can see that will fold in. So it's very simple to put together. So I'm just gonna add more glue to this flap. And then I'm going to just attach this one. And like I said, we just have a little hairline of a gap there so that it will fold up. I'm just getting it lined up there, lining everything up top to bottom, and then just pressing down. And then I always test it to make sure that it is going to fold up. So we're just gonna do the next one the same. Just adding glue and adding our piece of paper. And then we'll press. And then I'm gonna come back and ink these edges. And so for the last one, we're just going to add glue to that flap as well. Now, I hope you don't hear uh, a lot of noise in the background. I have my dryer going and it is messed up and it needs fixing. So it makes a loud noise. And then I'm right next to one of our bathrooms and it's being cleaned. My son's cleaning his bathroom right now and so Hopefully you don't hear all that noise. I'm hoping if you do, it doesn't bother you. It's just noises of my house, but I wanted to craft and this morning, so I am um, hoping that all the noises isn't too loud in the background. Hopefully the camera doesn't pick it all up. So here's our last little bitty piece, and we're just gonna glue the flap together. So this is really simple to glue together for the um, putting this folio together. I like little kits like this. It's a good starting point, and then you can just add whatever else you wanna add. So for this one, what you normally would do is, I think you're supposed to fold in and fold in like this. But I think I would have to trim mine down because I scored it at a weird spot. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit because I want this one to fold in. So let me get my trimmer. And let me see here. I'm just gonna trim enough off that it folds in because I think where I scored mine was not perfect and that's okay. It doesn't matter, you can just trim it off, it's no big deal. So I'm just gonna trim it and then I'll have to go back and re-ink that. And so I'm just trimming it so it's right inside of the score line there. And we'll do the same thing to this one. I'll just slide it in here like this maybe. Let's see if I can. Maybe I should pick it up. Okay. And just I'm just trimming a little bit off of the edge. trying to get that straight. I may not, oops, look at that. I really made a mess. So let's just turn it around this way and see if I can get it better and straighten that up. It's okay that it's smaller. It's not gonna be that big a deal. But I do want it straight. And it's a little bit more inside there, but that's okay. So then I, you can do like this and fold them in. And I think that's how the folio is supposed to be. But I think, I'm trying to decide now if I want mine to be that way today or if I want to um, make it accordion like I did the other one. Well, let's go ahead and add the inside and then we can decide. So 
you just got to lay out which pieces you want on the inside here. And I'm going to have to trim these down, of course, because I've already trimmed the other piece down. So let's just see which pieces I want where. Because they are a little different. So you have some, like, they're each a little bit different, a little grungier, and some not as grungy. I'm thinking about going just maybe like this. I think that looks good. Or maybe we go trying to decide. Maybe it really doesn't matter. It's just what looks good to your eye. So I'm just going to do that. So now I'm just going to glue those on. And I think what I'll do is I'll glue this on, and then I'll come back, and I will trim the excess off with my scissors. So let's just do that. Let's just glue the background on. So this is everything so far just the same as the folio kit. And really the way I'm putting this together, you can do it with the folio kit with the pockets that's in it instead of in the forest. But I just really love the in the forest kit and wanted to put it with this. Now we'll have to ink everything again. And we'll trim that off in just a moment when the glue dries. So let's just add this one. And like I said, I've lightly inked all the edges on this because I didn't want you to see the white edges where I, um, well, I didn't want the white edges to show where I cut them out. So that's why I inked the edges lightly. We can always go back and re-ink some more once we get done because I'm going to have to ink in those lines there. So there we go. Make sure it's all folding up steel. Yes. Okay. We're going to add this one. Oops. I got off of my paper there and got onto the mat. It will make it so sticky. And just add this one here. I think I've got that one overlapping just a little bit too much there. I may have to trim it. Trim it down just a little right here. That one is overlapping quite a bit. So I'm just going to come in with my scissors. I don't know if you can see that. But right in here, it's just overlapping just a little bit. So I'm just going to come in with my scissors, and I'm going to make it work. Just don't cut your fold line. Just cut your, if you're doing this with me and you have the same issue, it's because I probably cut everything a little crooked. I'm sure this goes together just perfect if, if I wasn't such um, such crooked cutter, and I was just kind of going, speeding through it. I don't really worry about that much because I'll just trim the extra off if I have to. Okay, so I think we had this one on the end here and this one in the center. So then I'm just going to add my paper here. Try not to cross over that fold line because then it's not going to fold up good. And then I'm just going to add the last one here. So I think how I'm going to do this one. I think I am going to make an accordion because I really like the accordion folio, folio that I made before. I think I'm going to make an accordion except for the small flaps. They're not going to be part of the accordion. They're just going to flap inwards like this. So let me get, where's that last piece that goes on that one? I think I've lost it. Okay. So we just add that there, lining it up. It's really simple. Okay, so now I'm just going to trim off the extra, and then we'll go through and ink it. But I'm just going to trim, I think I'll use my paper trimmer. I think that'll make it faster, and I think it'll be more straight that way, or straighter. Maybe. There we go. And then we'll take this one. Trim it off. And I, in the forest kind of made me think of fall, but the more I looked at it, it could be summer as well. But I am so ready to start doing some fall crafting as well. So I think I will start doing some. Let me show you real quick. I won't ink it all in front of you because I know that most of you don't like to sit and watch inking. But you see here where the gap is? You can see that white gap. I'm just going to fold it back and then just go in and ink it so that it blends. And you see, that way you don't have that gap on each one. So I'm just going through and just inking that white gap. And then we'll fold it into a, um, fold it into a accordion. My goodness, my thoughts, my brain was not working on that one. Well, I said I wasn't gonna do it all with you, but we may, it may be quick enough we can get it all done. 
I may come back and add a little bit more ink later since I'm doing it so quickly. Okay. So for mine, I think the way I want to fold it up is I'm going to fold this one in. Just want to score. And we will have to go back on the back side and ink those. They're, they're closer together, but we will have to ink those. So then I'm going to fold this one in and fold this one in. And then I think fold it like this and then back on itself like that. I think it's how I want it. I'm not sure yet. So we have it like that. And then if we fold it back and then forward like this, and it's, it's not the direction I had it folded, so I'm gonna have to just work with it real quick with my scoring tool. And then what if we fold this one in here? So yes, I think that would work. So I'll do that again with you in just a second. I'm gonna press it all down. So I just took it folded my two flaps in, then fold this one in, but then back and then in. So it's just accordion. That's so I like that. And I think I have a piece that's didn't dry quick, didn't let it dry long enough to, before I started folding it. Okay, there we go. So there we have our folio. So you can see some white on the edges here and stuff. So I, that's what I'm going to go back through and I'll just ink it up and kind of hide some of those white edges. But you can still do that at the end after we add pockets and everything as well. So it's no big deal. So for the pockets, this is, like I said, this comes together fairly quickly. So for the pockets, I didn't ink them, ink them yet because I know I gotta trim them down a little bit. So I'm going to put like this pocket inside here. So it's gotta be trimmed down just a bit. So all you have to do is just lay it in here. And what I do is just lay it in here and then normally I just eyeball it, but I will show you a better way than just eyeballing it. You can take and mark it. So what I wanna do is I just want to center it up on here and then mark it. So I'm gonna turn it over though so I can see the white side. I'm just centering it up onto the, the folio and then I'm just gonna mark so that it's right inside the lines of the, um, right inside the lines of these edges so that it fits. Now this one I don't think has to be trimmed down, it doesn't. So we'll have to go through and do all of these that way, but let's decide which ones we won't wear. So I think that I want, let me see here, I'm trying to find them all. Okay, so I think I want this one here. So I'm just gonna mark it right here, just right inside that line. And then we can round the edges on it once we do that. So there we go. And then, so I want this one and Maybe, maybe this one here. That's what I do. I just lay it out to see which ones I won't wear. And so then I'm going to put a pocket, a slant pocket, maybe this one and that right there. And then we'll take one of these and put here and maybe the butterfly up there. So let's just mark all of that real quick and then we can do the back side. So now we just got to turn this one over and mark it. So how is everyone doing? I haven't asked that in a while. I've been, most of my videos have been super busy just crafting and I haven't had a chance to ask and just kind of easy crafting and being able to just talk with you. I've been doing a lot of tutorials, but how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is well. I am feeling a lot better. If you saw one of my videos, I was mentioning how sick I was and, um, the doctors think that it was from a tick bite. I don't know if you have ticks in the area where you live, but they're just little bitty bugs that you get when you walk through the grass or you walk through, um, if you walk through like the woods or anything like that, and I live in the woods, so that is part of the problem. And so um, you can look them up, little ticks, and it was, and the, the, whatever it was I caught from the tick, it's got a really hard name to say, but it's very, it makes you very sick. And so, um, but I am feeling better. My medicine's working. So thankfully I am back up and crafting. I have missed my craft room so much. And this is a project I've been doing, wanting to do for almost a year. I don't know where the years went. I've had one more year, I think. I've had one thing after another happen with me where I haven't got to craft as much as I would like to. So um, I am, I am glad to be feeling better and being able to craft. And, I wanted to make this. So the folio that I made, um, the one that I made, to sh and I showed you, that one I made when I started feeling better 
it was one day I started feeling better. I didn't feel like going to my craft room, but I sat on the couch and cut it all out. I just felt like I wanted to paper craft. And so we knew I was getting better. My husband knew I was getting better when I said that I want to cut apart some paper and glue it back together. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's when you know that I'm feeling better. And so I, um, I am... I am excited to be back to craft, and I'm ready to do some fall and Christmas crafts, too, because I kind of miss the Christmas. I love Christmas in July, but I only did one project, I think, because um, because I did get sick at the end of July, and I would planned on that last week doing quite a few um, Christmas in July projects, and it never happened. So I've got quite a few I want to work on. So now we won't do Christmas in July. We'll just get ready for Christmas now once I get around to it. So that's all of those pockets cut. So now I want to ink them, and then we got to decide what pockets we're going to be here. We're going to put here because last time I did not have um, these little side pieces, so I'm going to have to decide that. And you know what? I'm going to go through though, and I'm going to use my um, corner rounder and just round all the corners on these pockets. And I'm using the smallest one, the quarter inch one. Okay. Before I glue all these on, I found this pocket that's in the forest kit is on the same page as these pockets. And so I think this will be great for the little side pieces. So I'm gonna cut those out and then I'm gonna ink them and then we'll come back and we'll glue everything together and then we'll work on the other pages. Okay, so now I'm just gonna glue everything on and so each one I'm just going to glue on three sides. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, so for the pockets, I went ahead and glued them all on and then for the, when you take and you fold this up and you open up the back, I did the same thing. I just measured them like I showed you for the front, trimmed them off, and then glued them on. And so I really like how this is looking. So now let's decorate the front. And so I've been going through my papers trying to decide which one I want on the front. I think any of these would be gorgeous on the front, but I've decided, I think I'm going with this one. But then when I hold this one up, this one is gorgeous too. I'm just not sure which one I want on the front. Let's do this one. I can change my mind, I guess. So let's go ahead and trim it down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trim the cover piece to four by seven. So I'm just gonna trim four here. And then I'm going to cut the white edges off and then I will measure at seven. And I gotta decide you know, which parts I wanna cut off and which parts I'm gonna keep, gonna keep because you are gonna cut a little bit off. So I think, oh, I'm going to have to get my other paper trimmer out because I don't have seven on here. So I got my other paper trimmer out. Sorry about that noise. I, hopefully I, cut, I can cut it out. I don't know if I can, but the UPS driver showed up and so my girls got really excited and started barking. So sorry about that. So this is going to be the cover and I'm looking here and I'm thinking this is going to be the back side. So let me just trim it off and I'll just use this trimmer since it can cut the four and the seven. So let's see here. Let's cut it at four first, and then we'll turn it and see at seven how much of the top will be cut off. Don't want to cut into that butterfly, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off the top, and then I'm going to come back to the bottom and even it up to seven. That way I can keep my butterfly on there. So I also want to round these corners, so I'm just going to use my quarter inch quarter rounder and do that. Just slightly round them. And I want to ink it and then we will add it to the covers, the front and back cover. I'm not sure that inking is gonna show up much on this one since it's already so dark, but I'm gonna try just a little bit and see to kind of frame it out if I can. So there they are inked up, and I probably should have waited till this afternoon when the dogs are asleep and, the kid, and everybody's out doing something so that it would be quiet in this house because I know it's very noisy in this video. I hope it's not so much in the background. So I'm just gonna add that to the front and then I'm gonna add the other one to the back. But then we gotta decorate the flap here that when, when you first open it up, I feel like that flap needs to be decorated a little bit. So let's see what we wanna do to it. Do we wanna put another pocket or do we wanna decorate it? I'm really not sure. So what I'm talking about is this right here. Do we wanna decorate that or do we wanna just add another pocket there. We could add another pocket. That may be better so we have more space for more ephemera because I imagine this being a really good ephemera holder for um, like the cards that's in this kit that you could use them or labels or die cuts, you know, anything like that. You could still use this as an ephemera holder. So I did ink this one as well. 
It's very pretty too. I should have used, might have used that one as the cover, but they're both very pretty. So let's see here. What kind of, what do we have to use as a pocket for those? So we do have this one and this one left over from In the Forest Kit. That might look good to just make a pocket on it. Or, let's see, do these fit? We have these from the actual pages where we printed out the journal pages. Let's try these. Let's see what these look like. And not the journal pages. Um, this is from the folio kit, actually. So this is just one of the pockets that came with it. This may actually work, and then we can decorate with some in the forest things. So for this one, I, I've gone ahead and cut these out and inked them, but for this one, I um, remember I cut, turned, cut this down. So I want the wavy part on there, so I'm just going to mark with my pencil again where I need to trim this off, and then I'm just gonna slice it. And I'm gonna do that for the other one as well. With that away, it will fit perfectly onto our pocket or our little flip out. So I want this to be on there and this one to be so I'm just gonna trim that off. Okay. So we need to re-ink where we trimmed because I had already inked it. I forgot that we had cut these down so that it wouldn't fit. So I think those are gonna look great there. So I'm just gonna glue those on on three sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut out my ephemera. But I think I'll come back tomorrow and we are going, instead of just using them as is in this, what if we decorate up these pieces of ephemera, make them into clusters and different things, and add them to this folio so that you could give it as a gift or you know you could or you could keep it yourself and have it so that you already had clusters ready to go so i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to come back tomorrow and we'll make some clusters with those and some different decorate up the ephemera so if you want to join me in doing that tomorrow be sure to just print you can print out you some cards like these and then be sure to get you some ephemera, some like fussy cuts and different things, die cuts, and then we'll decorate these up. So here is the completed folio. I love how it turned out. So I'm gonna come back maybe tomorrow or the next day and we will make some ephemera to go in the pockets. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.